What is up guys? Hope you're having a beautiful day. I am so happy to be back on the grind. Back with you, my stylish friends. And this is our new apartment in London. It's a hot mess right now. It's quite chaotic. There's suitcases on the floor and not much furniture. But the good news is there's a clothes rack, there's a plant. So we can get going with today's video. Welcome back to my channel guys. Today we're gonna do a little haul of my favorite pickups this summer. We've got eight pieces to try on, eight really cool pieces from a couple of different brands that have me excited for summer. Let's get right into it. First things first, let's start with an essential piece, these beige chino shorts from Asket. Every guy needs a good pair of beige chino shorts in their summer wardrobe. And I used to have a pair that I really liked. I would wear them every summer, but I lost them two years ago and I just hadn't found one that I liked as much as those until these ones. The quality is incredible. They fit perfectly and you can wear them at their regular length or roll them up twice for a shorter, breezier look. They have two options in terms of fit. So you can either go for the regular build or the slim build. Personally, I went for the regular build because I'm all about the wider, more relaxed cuts these days. But given how it fits, I think the slim one could also fit me nicely. Both would work, it would just be a different look. By the way, I'm gonna link all of the products and brands that I mentioned in the description in case you wanna check them out, if the brands still have them, of course. Second item I picked up, also from Asket, is this lightweight t-shirt in off-white. This is by far the lightest t-shirt I have while still not being transparent. It's made in super fine Egyptian cotton, which is perfect for those hot summer days. It's funny to say, but for the longest time, I've always stuck to plain white tees as my basic go-to t-shirt. And let me tell you, I have been severely underestimating the power of off-white. It's a subtle change, but one that can really elevate your look in the right outfit. I think off-white looks especially great when paired with earth tones. You can go for a full tonal look, but also any outfit where you would want a softer version of the classic white tee. The newly launched Tread by Everlane sneakers are my current favorite sneakers. I love the chunky dad shoe kind of design. It's a good change from the usual minimal sneakers. They're super comfortable, lightweight. They have them in a bunch of different colorways. And on top of that, they're sustainable. I've just been finding myself wearing them all the time. And given the thicker than usual fabric they have, I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing them just as much in fall and winter. Two, two really cool items I picked up from Koss. This first one is this moss stitched cotton top in vibrant yellow. So it has a relaxed fit, short sleeves, but a bit longer than the usual t-shirt. It's got a stitched body and ribbed edges on the sleeves and on the bottom of the hem. The vibrant yellow makes it a perfect statement piece for those days when you can only wear a single layer up top. I do like to keep the rest of the outfit paired back when I wear this though, because the shirt on its own is already one big bold block of color. You can't go wrong with some simple black pants and black or white shoes. The second piece from Koss is their relaxed jersey shorts in red. They're made from super soft heavyweight cotton and are very comfortable to wear. It's a super simple casual piece, but I think they really nailed the shape of the garment on this one. It's got a relaxed fit, a simple patch pocket on the back, and the color allows it to stand out from your usual casual shorts. It's a nice soft coral red that'll pair well in a summery color palette. I actually think that how the model wears it on their website looks great with the cream t-shirt tucked in and the sandals. You could also wear this with an oversized t-shirt and sneakers or anything with a relaxed streetwear inspired fit.
coming in at number six is this Muji Jinbei. The Jinbei is a traditional Japanese garment that you would generally wear as loungewear during summer. However, I personally like to wear it outside the house. It's not something that you would typically see in the streets, but I'll use the top and bottom as separates, especially the top part. I love wearing it as a lightweight jacket or outer layer on top of a simple t-shirt. I personally love mixing garments from different cultures. I think it can make for very interesting and unique outfits. Jinbei in navy already that you might have seen in some of my content but I loved it so much I just couldn't resist getting it in gray. It's funny because I usually don't buy much from Muji in terms of normal clothing but they do have two items I just really love which is their Jinbei and their no-show socks. I will stock up on those no-show socks all day long. Oh and you know those tiny pouches the little bags they make where you can put your toiletries and other random stuff inside while you're traveling? Those are the best. <laughs> Anyways we're getting sidetracked here. Let's get back on topic with item number seven. <music> Lastly, we've got two pieces from Uniqlo because I just can't make a video without talking about Uniqlo at least once. I just can't. I've always been a fan of their Cuban collar shirts, but this one may just be my favorite summer piece yet. It's a limited edition collab with Japanese artist Hokusai, which means unfortunately that I'm not sure they have any left on their website. Yeah, sorry. I probably should have made this video sooner. But here it is. I think the artwork on this one is just beautiful and it's perfect as a statement piece. If you do like how it fits though, they have plenty of Cuban collar shirts with the same fit, just different colorways and patterns, which I'll link down below. And the last piece from Uniqlo is the oversized t-shirt they made for this summer. It has a boxy cut, a drop shoulder, a pocket, and side slits. Personally, I love the direction in which Uniqlo is heading with these wider relaxed fits, so I hope they bring it back next summer. I have to say, the oversized look is really growing on me. They have them in a bunch of different colors, so if you're into the oversized aesthetic, you can be sure that you'll find a colorway that suits you. And that wraps up my eight favorite pickups this summer. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you did. I'm so happy to have an apartment, guys. It's been two months living out of a suitcase, but we now have one, and I am so ready to get back on track with the videos. So I hope you're ready, because there is a lot more good stuff coming soon. Have a beautiful day, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>